All right, so we're back. And I didn't want to leave the screen before I showed you how to do a few things first. So a lot of students always want to know, oh, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? If you're stuck in some kind of menu and you don't even know where you are, like this graphing menu or you're over here in the VARES menu and you just have no clue, above the mode button right there it says quit. So if you hit second quit, it gets you out and back to the home screen. See, there are all the calculations we had done before. Let me clear that so you can see. Now I'm going to work with a data set. We're going to learn how to enter data into the calculator and see some of the snags that can run into that. So over here in my notes, I have a data set right here to type in. This is the percentage of 12th graders who had used smokeless tobacco in the past 30 days at T years since 1990. So I have my years right here and I have my percent right here. So what I want to do is to enter this data into the calculator and then I'll be able to do things like make scatter diagrams or find the line that comes close to those points, all that good stuff in chapter 2. Alright, so let me go back to the calculator and I want to start by going stat, edit, enter. Let me hit that again. You can either press stat Number one is dark already, so you can press edit by either pressing the number one or just by pressing enter. Either way will work. Now up here you have L1, L2, L3. Those stand for lists. So let me show you how those work. So let's see, our first year was seven. So I'm going to type seven, enter, eight, enter, nine, enter, ten, enter, eleven, enter. Then over here, oops, I have to go to 12. 12, enter. Now you want to move over here to the right, so you're going to hit the right arrow. And now you're going to type in the others. Let's see, which were 9.7, 8.8, 8.5, 7.5, I can't remember the last one, 8 and 6.5, 8 and 6.5, enter. There we go. Now let's suppose you're somewhere and you want to clear this data. Let's say you're on your next problem. How would you do that? Say, oh, I need to get rid of L1. How do I do it? Well, what you don't want to do, but I'm going to show you right now, is press delete. If I press delete, whoops, the whole column is gone. Gone, gone. Like, it disappeared. There's no more L1. Rats. See, it goes to L6. Darn, we're in trouble. What you can do is second insert INS and it's saying name blink blink it's waiting for you above your one button it says L1 see it right there in blue on this calculator and while we're at it see above L2 is L2 and above 3 is L3 and so on so you hit second number one it'll take L1 enter and there's all your data back look it didn't even clear out the data if you want to clear data for another problem you go up to the top so that the letter is dark, L1 is dark, and you press clear, enter, and that clears out the column of data. I actually didn't want to clear this column, so I'm going to type it again, enter. Another nice thing to note is it's letting me know at the bottom, this blank is on the seventh entry. That lets you know that you have six entries above it, and if you go back to look at your table, you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six great that helps you figure out what you're doing so I have six data entries I've got my list one my list two be very careful this book does a lot of converting years to numbers so you've got to read in the problem see it says since 1990 that's why I type seven because 1997 take away 1990 is seven so be careful when you type in every problem is going to have a different way of doing that so read very carefully and figure out what your L1's got to be Alright, so we learned how to do that. Next time we're going to learn how to do a scatter plot.